welcome to the today's EVS class. Dear students, in the last EVS classes, we have learned about the fourth chapter, that is the playing is fun. So, you are, you are familiar about that chapter and you have learned very well, I hope. And in today's session, let us start to discuss about the uh, next lesson, that is the fifth lesson, plants. So, dear students, almost all you people like plants because they are so greenery in the nature. Okay, now, they, uh, when looking towards the plants, we will make very happy because uh, it's very beautiful one. Plants make the environment a uh, very beautiful, isn't it? So, when you are walk to the uh, in our in our surroundings or in the, when you walk to the anywhere towards the park or somewhere else, you see the varieties of a uh, plants, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Okay, and the elders or the 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 persons or which are called uh, usually they will guide us okay so let them call us guiders or grandfathers or grandmothers so what they will uh, they have some values in their life and they tell us so don't pluck the flowers don't pluck the leaves of the plants they are also having a life so they are telling like this isn't it so what they are telling is correct yes obviously it is correct the plants are also having a life. They are also having the life. Okay. Plants are also having the life. Since they are also respond like us. Okay. They are also respond like us. They also produce the seeds. From that seeds, new plant is grown. Isn't it? How the new plant is grown? The new plant is grown from the seeds that are produced by the plant. Like us, isn't it? We are born from our mother. So plants are born from their small seeds which are produced from the, their mother seed. Isn't it? Like dirt. So plants are also having a life. They are also respond like us. So that's why we should not pluck the flowers or leaves unnecessarily. Got it children? So plants are also having the life which is given in your introduction part in your lesson okay so this is how the signers know about the plants the plants are also having the life so that's why we should not harm them we should not harm the plants since they are very important for our life so how does they are helpful for our life let's see okay so they are they are sticking to the fertile place. They are sticking to certain place. That means they will stay in one place only. They will stick in the one place. Okay. But even also they have a capacity to prepare the food. They have a capacity to prepare the food. So this food is utilized by us, human beings and other animals. Okay. And what we are wearing the cloths and we are we are trying to clean our test books or notebooks, no? That is also prepared by the plants. So it will as a capacity to prepare the whole food. It will provide the food and cloths for us. Food and cloths for us. Okay. And so these are also make the environment very beautiful. Our environment is beautiful because of what? Because of plants. Understood? So plants are also having the light. Okay? They are also respire like us. They prepare the food. So that prepared food is utilized by the human beings, including the animals also. Okay, what we are wearing the cloths and we use the furniture, dining tables, they are all made by the plants only. The plants help us in many ways. Understood? Okay, so what, what is the importance of plants for, for our life? Plants are the very important aspects in our life since they will release the oxygen. So, during the preparation of food, what they will do? They will release the oxygen. So, they will release the oxygen. The oxygen is very important. 
ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಉಸಿರಾಟ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ತುಂಬ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ನ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥವ್ರು ಯಾರು ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಅಟನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಅವರ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ 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 ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಟಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೀಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಗುಲ್ಮರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಇನ್ ದರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ಇನ್ ದರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ varieties of even the banyan trees also you saw this one right the children will play with the help of these what are different kinds of the water it has in a kind of branches no with the help of the branches they will make the swings isn't it okay so what are trees trees are very big okay strong and they are also thick okay they are also thick very strong and thick okay so trees are what trees are big strong and they are very thick so examples are mango tree neem tree banyan tree and etc okay and what is the importance of trees what is the importance of trees it is also given they have a thick brown woody stem called trunk see observe here they have a, this is called trunk this is called trunk so the yellow yellow in the trunk so what is called trunk they have a thick brown woody stem what kind of stem thick brown thick brown woody stem okay thick brown woody stem is called as trunk so what is trunk they having a thick brown woody woody means it has a kind of wood okay woody stem is there so such is a what is known as trunk tree trunk and the marana wooda artha ayita so how it is there how it is look like it is very thick brown in the nature and it is also what woody in the nature it is called trunk and most trees lives for many years even for thousands of years also okay so they live for many years okay they live for they live for many years they live for many years okay so this is the importance of the trees so in the kinds of trees we are discussed about the one type that is trees what is an importance of trees trees are big strong and they are 
thick in the nature. So how the trees are look like? Trees look like very big. They are very big in the nature. They are so strong and they are also thick. Understood? So next examples of the trees are varieties of trees are there. Okay? Among them, mango tree, neem tree, banyan tree. They are there. Familiar for you people. Okay? Next, what is the importance of the trees? Trees are having a trunk. What is the trunk? What is called tree trunk? Trunk means it is a thick brown woody stem present in the trees. What is trunk? Trunk means it is a thick brown woody stem called trunk. Okay. So next, they live for many years. So many thousands of years together. So they live for many years. Understood children about the trees? Okay. Let's move to the next type that is shrubs. So what are shrubs? How they look like? Let's see. Okay. Now let's study about the uh, next type of plants. They are shrubs. So how the shrubs are look like? Here I drawn the diagram that is the hibiscus flower. Do you know about the hibiscus flower? Hibiscus and the hibiscus. It is a bushy nature. Let's study. Small bushy plants like bombanella and hibiscus have thin woody stem with many branches growing from the base. They are called shrubs. They live for few years. So this is an important of shrubs. So what are shrubs? They have a bushy like stem. Okay. And the stem is grown from the base. What kind of stem they have? Small bushy. They have bushy like. Okay. They have a thin woody stem. They have a strong. Trees are having a strong stem. Whereas in the shrubs, what kind of stem it has? It has a what kind of stem it has? It has the woody stem. Thin woody stem. Okay. Which is grown from the base. Okay. And it lives for only few years. Okay. It grown from the base. Okay. I'll be once again shrubs. Herbs. So herbs, how they look like? Let's see. 
Dear students, now let's study about the one more type of plants. They are herbs. So how the herbs are look like? The herbs are having a, a very weak stem. Okay, they are having a very weak stem and they live for only one season. Okay, what is the importance of the uh, herbs which is given in your textbook? A small plant like mint. Okay, a small plant like this mint. They are having a weak stem and they live for only one season. Such type of a small plants are referred as herbs. Understood? So how the herbs are look like? It is there in the uh, test book. Some plants like mint, they live for only few years. They are having a weak stem. Okay? They are referred as herbs. So herbs are what? They are the small plants. They are the small plants. Having what kind of stem? Weak stem. So they live for they live for only one season. So what does that mean? Pudina, pudina sabke liye pudina means pudina, which is used in your home for as a spicy substance. Okay, for making palav and other things. Understood? So what are herbs? Herbs means what? So small plants. Okay, these are the how they look like. They are the very small plants. Understood? So these are the small plants, and they having a big stem. They live for only one season. Okay, and so these are the kind of these are what kind of plants they are? They are the very small plants. Understood? So they having a big stem, and they live for only a end season. Season wise, it grows season wise. Understood? So this is called as a this life cycle is very small. They are the small plants and they weak stem. Stem is not so big, not so small, but very weak. Understood? So this is an important stuff. Now let's study about the two more types of plants that is the three climbers and creepers. Okay? So climbers, do you know heard about this one climbers? Climbers are not in here. So there are certain plants which climb on the other plant. On the plant level, there are they plant to be plants to climb on the Example is Nimanetani Rutini Mama Hakitara Indian Hakuri Money Plant. Money plant is a very important you see it in almost all places, isn't it? So money plants, since they are having a weak stem, they don't have a capacity to grow easily for themselves. That's why they take the support of another plant and they will grow. Okay? Such plants are selected as what? Climbers. So what are climbers? They take, they take support, they take support from another plant, another plant to grow because they have the stem. Okay, example is graphite, grapes, okay, grape plants and mummy plants are the examples for the climbers. So what are climbers? Climbers this will take the support of the other plant to grow since they have a weak stem. So always they depend upon the other plants for their growing. Understood? They never grow themselves. They need a support. They need a support to grow. Okay? Such plants are called as climbers. So what are climbers? Climbers they are we take the support from the plants to grow and they have a weak stem. So what are climbers? Climbers are having a weak stem. They always take the support of the another plant. Understood? They are called climbers. Next is creepers. Do you know about the watermelon, pumpkin? So what kind of fruit it is? It is a big fruit. A small plant with a big fruit are called as creepers. Since they are having a big fruit, they can't grow straightly. There are that's why they creep on the ground. No, nelad mele bendirte. Ya kyan thi na? They are having a big fruit, so they can't uh, what they can't have the such a big fruit. Well, that's why. So they will creep on the ground. So they creep on the ground. Creep on the nelad mele bendirte. Ina? So they having a what kind of fruit? They have. They have a big fruit. Since they are having a big fruit, 
they have a weak stem they will creep on the ground such plants are called as creepers okay now display maartta irthe ni mere pictures nodta idi okay na so what are climbers climbers means so they will take the support of other plant and they will grow they are called climbers what are creepers they creep on the ground since they have any weak stem and big fruits example pumpkin and watermelon okay they are the example of creepers so how many types of plants we have studied trees trees are having a thick stem they are very strong and they having a trunk okay brown color a big structure called trunk so they live for many years second one is we are learned about the what shrubs they having a bushy nature the branches are from the base they live for few years okay it is called herbs example is hibiscus and we are learned about what we are learned about the next one that is herbs herbs example is mint they have very weak stem they live for only one season they are called herbs okay next is climbers they take the support of another plant to grow they are called as climbers example grapes and what grape vines and money plant okay so next creepers means since they have a big fruit and big stem they creep on the ground or called as climbers example watermelon and pumpkin so i hope you are understood the kinds of plants in next session i will come up with the one more topic thanks for watching dear students